Happy Tactical Taco Titty Holster Tuesday, folks, and welcome to the Scotty Blade Show, and welcome to my official first attempt at 100 days in seven days to die. Man, when you start piling on the word days in there, things get a little tougher. Uh, oh, crap. I forgot that I did a review last night. <laughs> my screen zoomed in. I can fix that with just one beat boop bop. There you go. So uh, we scrapped our last run and it's not official because I have never ever played this game before and I got my royal butt kicked. I mean my butt kicked. And I'm a survival guy. I've spent my entire year in the tactical world. Entire year. My entire life. I spent an entire year. Spent my entire life in the tactical realm, so I got a general understanding of how to survive in the wilderness and to fight off monsters and enemies. I hunt monsters. It's kind of my thing. I got my butt kicked. I got humbled. So uh, we're still not really good at this game. I'm not. You guys are that watch, and all of your advice has got us as far as it has gotten us. But I, uh, I'm resetting the slate. We got our practice. We're good to go. I'm starting a new playthrough. I'm better at the game. I understand the mechanics. I understand that right click on a spear is a power attack on most weapons. I know that right click is repair on most weapons. So I'm learning the game. I'm learning the game. I'm learning it right here in front of you guys. So this is our first official 100 day, seven days to die challenge. You come into the show, do what heroes do. Do what absolute units do. Hit that like button. Let us know that you like us because by God, we like you. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the number one distraction from your daytime job or your nighttime shenanigans if you're over in the land of milk and honey. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hello, Terry. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, Carrie Cother. If you want to support the broadcast, the best way to do it. Super chats and subscribing. If you are or becoming a member, I should say. A member is even better. Taking the front lines in the war against evil. Getting yourself a badge and some stickers you can use. That's even better. Uh, production. Kill the music. Let's see how far I make it this time. Harvest grass, punch fiber. Sha! Sha! You'll love to see it. Take the path. Daytime hey. lives. Woo. We are doing some daytime lives. Thank you very much. For the first super chat of the broadcast, so there's a snow biome right behind me, which is good. Man, my guy is really getting excited. He's punching stuff. Whoops. I need to turn my audio up a little bit. I always have it turned down because we play indie horror games at night most of the time. Man, nothing just brings the satisfaction. Hello, Marlo. Hello, Pertu. Nothing brings the satisfaction quite like punching plants to death. So this is a biome that I heard you guys talk about a lot yesterday. There is snow biome right behind me. Uh, press tab, craft bedroll. I got enough fiber to craft a bedroll. Let's do it. I also got some chamomile. I got uh, a can of chili, some water, first aid band-aid. I don't know what this land claim block does. I'm going to take that out. Then I got a note. Just a friendly reminder that you pay on time every time or there will be consequences. Next time we won't be so nice. Thanks for the gear you still owe us. See you soon, the Duke. Whenever I open up my own apartment complex and start renting people, or if I ever buy a home and flip it and provide it as a place for people to live in, I am going to be sure to put friendly reminder, either you pay on time or else there's gonna be consequences. Scrap. Cool. Thanks for the thanks for the heads up, random guy in my head. Uh, they're already want me to lay down a bedroll. There's a house over here, but it's in the cold though. How did day seven go? I missed a stream. I uh, I put four hours in and got murdered immediately. So I put four hours into that stream the other day, and then as soon as the horde came, I got absolutely decimated. So you didn't really miss anything. I got decimated. Because I didn't do anything to prepare because I don't know what I'm doing. But we're two days of practice. So I kind of have a general idea of how to play the game. Is this a town? And why am I not cold right now? 
Yeah, I, uh, we died real fast, quick, and in a hurry. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. Time to make band-aids? <laughs> what kind of gear are you running, Scotty? Oh, you know. A lot of band-aids. <laughs> Why don't you have a bunch of weapons? I don't really need them. I do more dying than I do killing. I do know if you hit... The whole reason why I made this axe for is because there's a stump here somewhere. Yoink. Sandwich. I found out yesterday that if you hit stumps, then they will give you honey sometimes. Why am I not getting cold? I'm in a cold... There it is. I'm in a cold biome. Come on, give me that sweet, sweet honey. This is only my second cup of coffee today, so I have no idea what kind of energy I'm going to bring to the show. Alex Glazer, thanks for following me on Facebook, even though I'm not live there. Appreciate you. Bandits make all the zombie, zombie boo-boos go away. Oh, the zombie boo-boos. Defenses, Papa, wood spike straps. I told you this. Okay. Let's discuss the survival techniques that have been told upon me to this point. I am so appreciative of all of the help that you guys have offered. I came. That's exactly... <laughs> oh shit, this place is like a two and a half. Let's not go there. I'm in a town, guys. We didn't find a town the whole day yesterday. Anyway, I am so appreciative of all of the suggestions that you guys made yesterday. Or just through the series in general. But when there's like nine different people telling you to do nine different things, you just kind of throw a dart at a board and hope that one of the things that the people are telling you to do is, good God, look at the difficulty. One of the things people are telling you to do is somewhat uh, productive. Why are all these houses so difficult? That's my mansion. I found my mansion. This is my mansion. It's the hardest one so far. Good. The game did say to check mailboxes. Why? Because they're skill books. And apparently these skill books are really important. Breaching ammunition. Craft special ammunition used to breach secure blocks like doors and safes. Nice. What's up, Grave Ghost? Is that a wolf? Oh my god. I've also been told that wolves are a problem. I'm just going to pick a house. Try the least hard stealth through it. You can stealth these things? I guess this is technically the least hard. Let me build a spear. There's stealth in this game? <laughs> anyway, keep the suggestions coming. I'm going to keep doing what I always do and just pick somebody that's the loudest and do what they tell me to do. This place has already got spike traps. Nice. Okay, I can't go that way. Door's locked. Whoops. Game's glitching today. Scotty, don't do stealth. I normally really don't. And it's not because I don't like it. I'm just really bad at it. I kind of brute force. There's a very particular way that I do things in both my life and in video games. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm the captain of my own ship, and I normally drive it straight towards stupidity. We call it brute force, though. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, cold beer. Look at me being sneaky. I just want to establish a base so that I can... Hell yeah, toilet water. Nothing cures... <laughs> Nothing cures dysentery quite like more dysentery. Either way, make money, mine iron ore, and make robotic turret ammo. Oh, okay. I hope all of my mods that don't watch my daytime shows are writing this stuff down. Thank you, Terry, for being here. I guess technically, I just snuck up on this guy. Because she didn't wake up... Man, I just snuck, guys. 
I've never snuck on anything in my life. This is awesome. Did you not sneak up on houses when you were a tactical operator? I was a commander. So here's how my my tact team day assignments went. The first job I ever had was breacher. My job was to break shit. That's what I did. I got paid big government money to break shit. Then after I become breacher, I become shield man. Why? Because I'm five foot nine, five foot ten, broad, huge arms, thick legs, just built like a Dungeons and Dragons dwarf. So it made sense that the taller operators could stand over me while I carried the ballistic shield. Then sniper for a little bit, and then commander. These sandwiches are all dirty, ain't they? I oh, I didn't grab that coffee beans. Also, I should probably make some armor, right? Can't make any armor. I can make a primitive bow, which is a complete waste of time. No armor yet. I can make cloth fragments, which is good for band-aids. Sneak and use the bow and you'll get extra XP. What? Somebody posted a meme in our Facebook group yesterday. Scotty, seven days to die. And it was, it was um, primitive SpongeBob. <laughs> Caveman SpongeBob with a spear with his mouth like, which is kind of how I play games. Everyone's so interested and you're so boring. As a professional storyteller, Grave Ghost, that's impossible. Every single person in the world has a story to tell. That's why you're here. You have done something or you are better at something than I am, and that makes you incredibly special. And I would love to hear your story so that I can tell other people your awesome story. Cold Bear. Hello, Paige. Let me put my, uh, let me put my bedroll down here. It's okay, we're bored. You're not bored, Chris. I've heard your story several times. Now, granted, I did do a really cool Chris Redfield Resident Evil job for a lot of my life. Stupid, stupid cool stuff. Stupid, stupid cool, Scotty. All right, cool. Make a stone axe. I've already done it, but if I make another one, it'll make it even better. You guys taught me that. Stone axe. Even better. Make fiber pants. Fiber pants. Yes. Wear fiber pants. Put pants on that are fiber. Is this the same? Is this dude right here? Is this the guy that you always get? This Johnny Quest looking dude? Bannon. I think his name was Bannon. You always get a Johnny Quest looking dude playing this game. Hey, Natalie. All my stories are just sad and self-deprecating. All right, I challenge you. I challenge everybody in this room right now saying that they're not interesting. Go do something interesting. Go on an adventure. One of the fun things about streaming is, is that we go on these crazy, stupid adventures together. And you guys become icons in the community. Everybody knows comedian. Everybody knows grave ghost. There's are, grave ghost. There's already a joke. I forgot what the joke is about how I mispronounced your name and said crave goat, crave coat, crave goat. When we was wishing you happy birthday. That's a great story. Seventy people wished you happy birthday on a live stream digital adventure, and we all got your name wrong on accident. <laughs> That's a great story. How many Resident Evil games have you played? I have played every single one of them except... Um, crap, I can't remember what it's called. It's the original game. It's not like it was on Game Boy. It was a portable one. Gaiden. I've not played Gaiden. Gaiden's the only one I've not played yet. And I probably never will. I just don't have no reason to play it. Da 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 No Facebook today? I'm not doing Facebook uh, anymore. The, the only reason I did Facebook streaming those few days was to just remind the folks that we're still streaming every day. 
there's still people who will not who just want to fight the Facebook problems and not come to YouTube. So it was just a friendly reminder to say, hey, we're still out here. We're still making content. We're still going on adventures. We're still having fun. But with me being demonetized there, there's just zero reason to stream there. Bam, bam. Wait till you meet the trader to do what? Oh, shit, I need a, a spear. Look how sneaky I am. Can I save that picture of the American Eagle and not break it? I want to put it in my house. Man! I mean, this is my house, I guess. YouTube's not a permanent, or Facebook's not a permanent thing? Yeah, for, for them, they just really did me dirty with the whole demonetizing thing. Jackie Chan. Actually, looks like Chris Pratt. Got him. Now, I also heard that there's... I don't want to destroy this beautiful picture of Chris Pratt. But I have been told that there is treasure behind... Treasure behind the paintings. Hey, Mel. Jackie Pratt. I'm three days away from meeting one of my best friends whom I met through the gaming community. There you go. There is nothing quite like streaming and the social bonds and the community that you get from it. These are people that you meet and it you that's the thing about first impressions. It takes time. Well, it takes pressure to make a good first impression. With the internet, you already have a good first impression. Why? Take that right in your queefer. Because you already have something in common. You ever heard of like an icebreaker? Where you try to find something in common with the person that you're talking to? You already have something in common. You're both watching your favorite streamer or content creator playing a game that you really enjoy. So you've already got two things to talk about and then it just snowballs from there. Because you can't see my ugly face. I can literally see your face right now, Sideshow. But that's the thing about streaming. I, let me tell you something. They ought to call my ass Cupid. Because I have put together... I mean, not best friend. That's d different. You can be friends without being romantic. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm just saying there's been a lot of friendships. And there has been a lot of uh, romanticisms as a result of building the League of Blades together with you guys. It's a great, It's a great connection, man. Humans need each other. We're very social creatures. We need each other. Like being part of a tribe. As I stand here with my bloody zombie spear. Scotty sees all and knows all. By the way, comedian, uh, nothing that you did or said goes against any community guidelines. Uh, the stream bot glitches out sometimes. It always picks like one person. It picks one person per stream and just picks on them. So you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I'll look at loot later if I clear this house. Also, we're in the snow biome. How come I'm not cold? Titanic, that's your icebreaker? Oh, come on, Paige! <laughs> uh, Natalie, you got gifted a sub by uh, Philip Who's It's What's It's. He gifted 10 subs last night. It was incredible. And you are one of the lucky ones to get it. So if you see uh, who's it's, what's it's, let them know. What's up, Christian? Ladder, I'll get it. I want to clear out as much of this as I can before I make any big moves. It got me one time and all you do is laugh. Hey, you're very welcome. Ah, cool, garment bags. That is one thing that I do miss about my old job is that I got to wear a cool suit, man. I got to wear a cool suit to work every... Whenever I had cool suit stuff to do. I miss that. I miss wearing a suit. Now I just wear nothing. I hear him, guys. Where is he? Speaking of taking care of your community and being generous and heroic, 
David Moreau gifted five subs, five memberships. For all the FB peeps coming over, hell yeah. Wear a suit, I don't know. It doesn't fit my mold, you know what I mean? Why would I wear a suit? Welcome to the Table of Blades. Welcome to the front lines and welcome. Wear your birthday suit. We're talking Jennings, Carrie Cawthorn, Kate Parziali, the elusive and sneaky night owl who comes in, drops like six comedy bombs and leaves for two weeks. I keep tabs on where you guys are at. Scotty Season knows all. And Courtney Weimer, welcome. As your very own Eagle of Justice flies down from the heavens. There it is. You can name your Eagle whatever you like. Mine is Carl. There's your very own boomstick. It does a dance for you. Go survive. Go slay evil. Go hunt monsters. Go make some memories. Represent the League of Blades well. And be sure to thank and let your eagles fly to thank David Lunar Voodoo Moreau. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, buddy. One of the reasons I don't like YouTube, Facebook, is that notifications aren't as instant here. Like I even know when you would be on here. So there's a few ways uh, to get around that. One, to join our Discord. The Discord uh, notifies you immediately when we go live. Two, I post in our Facebook group when we're going live. I didn't today, though, so that's a very rare occurrence. But there's the other option. Three, join our Instagram. I always post a video when we're going live on the Instagram. Four, the social website threads. I am on threads, and I'm threading it, baby. I announced that we were going live on threads. So there's a bunch of different ways that I, I try to let as many folks know as possible. And five, you can actually turn on all notifications on YouTube. And while it's not always 100% accurate, it's pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty legit. You've never heard of Threads? Threads is Zuckerberg's answer to Twitter. It's much less toxic. It's, it's in its infancy. And it's actually... It's pretty great. I actually like threads a lot. Who's beating my house up? Why are you beating this car up? There's a lot going on. How's the stream going so far, Christy? You're just in time to watch me stick my spear deep in this girl's boob. It's pretty awesome. Threads is pretty cool. Again, it's a it's a site very much so in its infancy. It just got started, like what? A week, two weeks ago? So Sideshow, there you go. I, I, I try my best to do as many notifications as possible through as many platforms as possible. So hopefully one of those five or six. I call it putting out the blade signal. Yeah! Yeah! I put out the blade signal to try to be This guy's wearing a suit. He's making me jealous. I think we've cleared this place with the exception of the ladder. I think we're good. There's Jackie Chan. No, there's still somebody here somewhere. Upstairs. There's a lot of zombies in this place. Uh oh. Secret backpack. Where you at? You see why it's raided hard now? Yeah, there's a ton of zombies here. Also, whoever suggested to sneak through here earlier, genius. This has went much better than it normally does. Much better. Okay. Let's go up here. We've not cleared this yet. A hatch. A hatch. Hello, Robin. 
You're doing wild firefighting? Cool. That's awesome. Start up? Yeah, start it over. Yep. I started over. I was just saying, AJ, if it hadn't been for y'all's advice, we wouldn't have made the progress that we did make. But I was so oblivious to just the basics of how to play the game that I really wasted the first six days. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I've, I've still not watched any footage as to how to play this game. I really wanted to go into it as blind as possible, but I know enough now to know that I made a lot of boo-boos. What? What the heck? Oh! We're gonna die. I'm not sure how my stamina got zapped so fast there, but it did, didn't it? There we go. The game's got a brutal learning curve. Boy, does it. Boy, does it. I was just saying, like, I spent most of my life in a survival situation, like in tactical situations. Like, I have a general gist of what I need to do, but it's just trying to put that knowledge into, like, how to make, like, right-clicking was a power move. Right-clicking on your hammer is how you upgrade your defenses. It's just stuff like that. Ooh. Also, what's important that you need whenever you grab loot, like eating those sandwiches? Of course you don't want to eat a rotten sandwich, but it's a video game. How rotten could it be? <laughs> How rotten could it be? It's a sandwich. Like, what's paper important for? Paper, to me, would be important for making kindling for fire. In this game, it could it's probably kindling for fire. Hmm... See, I, rotten meat, I'd have never guessed. Water purifier mod. That's good. I still don't know how to use mods. So that's still news to me. Big hits. Knock the ball out of the park with this technique. Do 10% more damage with clubs. Should I just sell that? Because I'm never going to use it. Also, I've already got a zombie infection. Go lucky me. Go lucky me. Paper is good for paper airplanes. Throwing up, never killed anybody? It did. It did. <laughs> the biggest killer in the Civil War was dysentery. <laughs> it never killed anybody, Scotty. It, it did. It killed a lot of people. We're going to make this our base. I'm going to go ahead and make a chest down here and then come back here and loot all this stuff. What was that noise? This place, <laughs> yeah, dysentery killed most, or not, it was the number one killer in the Civil War. Not bullets, go figure. It was just people being unhealthy. Is there not a basement in this place? No basement. Where should I put my chest? I'll put my chest right here. This place seems pretty legit. Legit. Put it down. There we go. Which way is the open side? It doesn't matter. Okay. Legit. That's the Appalachian way to say legit. Legit. If you guys watched the show last night, I really, really southerned it up last night. I didn't, I used somewhat of a filter with how I talk. I, I'm way more country when I talk, but I try to keep it, I call it vanilla. I don't let my twang out as much, but I got one hell of a twang. And I used it last night. I used my natural voice last night. It was hilarious. Learned it. But even when I'm talking with my filtered voice, where I, phys I, I like physically try to not talk that way, it comes out a lot. 
I say Rock Chimley and Ranch and Legit. Whenever I say names like Ollie, I drag out the A. Ollie! Improve medical crafting skills. Love me some twang. Yes, sir. Trust me, I'm twangy. Forget it. Yeah, forget it. It's a big one. Forget it. Put the water mod on your hat. Put the water mod on your hat. I don't have a hat. But I will whenever I get a hat. Increase the spear movement. Hell yeah. On mod install, click the item you want to try to mod, then choose the modify option when the page opens to install mods on the left of the page. Drag the mod to open. Okay. Just wait for Scott to pull out a banjo and a straw and a wheat stalk and start chewing on it. Jim. I have spent so many evenings. Hello, Ariel. I have put so many evenings of me and my grandpa sitting on the front porch, rocking back and forth. He liked to take a big glass of milk after supper and take cornbread and shove it down inside the milk and mix it and make like a cornbread milk slurry. It's really good. I know everybody's like, immediately like, eh. no, it's really, really, really good. And we'd sit on the front porch and we just watch the cows wander the field and just chit chat and watch the sunset. I miss those days, man. That's the good stuff. Fuck your sash. That sounds delicious. It's really good. It's, uh, I never ate it because it's disgusting, but it's really good. Bless your heart, Grandpa. That's me. <laughs> now, now I'm the League of Blades, Grandpa. <laughs> But I'm a really fun person to have a beer with. I've got a lot of stories, and I bring out the best in your stories because I really want to know you all. So I'm a really fun person to have a beer with. Could you imagine sitting on the front porch and just drinking cornbread milk with me while we talk about stuff? We're just going to sit and chat for a little while. Improve shotgun crafting. That's good. Coffins. Coffins are treasure troves for the apocalypse. Learn how to harvest coffins. Oh, my God. That's morally wrong, but survivably awesome let's harvest some coffins hell yeah that reminded me of watching my granddad churning chugging buttermilk Ugh. yeah love a good good swear cornbread oh the jalapenos you don't like the jalapenos oh a good sweet cornbread we would mix it up my grandma had a recipe called 15 bean soup, and it was all sorts of different beans, man. You can actually buy 15 bean soup at the store, but anyway, we ate a lot of beans because we were country. Always had to have cornbread. We'd mix it up. Sometimes the cornbread would be... Sometimes the cornbread would have jalapenos, sometimes it wouldn't. Cornbread with glaze? Uh... I don't remember a glazed cornbread. That's a lot of beans. Oh, it is. We were very poor growing up, but you didn't know it. Which, I gotta brag on my family for... We lived in the mountains. We, we weren't rich. We got by with what we had, you know? So I gotta brag on my family for... I never knew that. They did a good job. I got everything I ever wanted. I had a great childhood. 15 types of beans of 15 numerical beans. Yeah, 15 different types of beans. There was lima beans in it, which I don't know why you would want to put lima beans in a lima bean soup. Puffer jacket. Get puffed. Let's put that jacket on because it is cold outside. It's got 24 cold resistance. I'm in a winter biome. And I'm not having any problems with being cold. <laughs> oh, I'll get out of here, $10 game. Giga Chad. Hey, Betty. Giga Chad. What an absolute unit that guy is. Giga Chad. 
He's the kind of guy that would walk up to you whenever you're squatting and tell you that you're doing it wrong, but then he would help you. Giga turn. Boop. Also, I got a, a good plate. Padded chest armor. Sex! Yes! It didn't change my physical appearance because I guess I'm wearing too big of a jacket. Sunglasses? It gives me plus one perception. Super Giga Chad. Enomo good gigancho Giga Chad. The Giga Chad of the Apocalypse. Good afternoon, it's been a while. Yeah, I've uh, I've kept a ledger. I was about to send a rescue unit to find out where you were, Robin. Tough guy, Chad? Oh, super tough guy. Sigma? I, I can't keep up with all the different... Uh, whatever those things are. Secret compartment? Nope, I just put a hole in my house. Oh, secret compartment! Nice beard. Thanks, Toffee. I pet it, and I comb it, and I love it every day. It's got a name. It's Leonidas. He's pretty cool. He whispers to me at night. Terrible, terrible things. <laughs> he whispers terrible, terrible things. Shotgun parts. All right, what do we got here? Oh, painkillers. That'll help my concussion. Kaboom. You really missed streams? Hey, we've missed you. This guy's always got a hole in his house. I actually really do. See you later, concussion. As a man who's had a lot of concussions in his life, I have said both in the video game world and in the real world, man, this concussion's really pissing me off. Let's find out where this zombie's at. <laughs> man, this concussion is really pissing me off. I think he broke one of my doors. Man, that stupid concussion. Wish I could open this door. Then I could just kill him and be done with it. What time is it? It's not quite nighttime yet. Let me run outside and kill this guy. He's beating my house down. I own this house now. Let me unlock it. You are thirsty? Okay, I got water. Nobody panic. I got water. Concussion not bussing? No, it's not. It is not bussing. How do I make doors not lock anymore, guys? My infection is still going up? Yeah, I need to get I need to take care of that. How did I get in here? Oh, yeah, it's down here. That's right. Eat honey? I don't have any. I got to find some. Uh-oh. It's Scotty Blades. Ah, I suck. Kia! Tubby's tough. Take antibiotics. I don't have any. I'm hoping this house has got some. Did that, did that attract any attention? I don't think it did. Uh oh. There's a lot of zombies out here. Everybody be cool. Go get honeys. I, I, I will. Eventually. Let me clear this house first. Shit. It did attract another guy. But I'm sneaking! Does he see me? He saw me. Let me repair my spear real quick. I can't repair it. I don't have enough stuff. Uh-oh. I'm thirsty again. It's 
Scotty, you can get honey from stumps? I can. <laughs> oh, God, you're killing Al Borland? I don't think so, Tim. This guy, how's this guy faster than me? Is this only up? Not quite. Get shafted! Finally. All right. Let's, let's hurry up and search this place. I'm, I'm hoping to find some good stuff. We've already searched all that stuff. Search that. By the way, are you coming back tonight? I am. Let's celebrate some more generosity to the folks in the audience. We're talking about Mama Justice. Bring in some justice and bring in Robin Clark and Jim Bean to the table of blades. Welcome, Blade Masters. Welcome to the newest members of the channel. Let your eagles fly. Celebrate your fellow monster hunting Blade Masters. Go forth, folks. Take your eagle of justice. Get your boomstick. Survive. Slay. Save the day. And by God, just look good while you're doing it, okay? Just look good. Very kind of you, Mama Justice. Thanks for taking care of your fellow community. Very, very kind of you. I have got to find... Ooh. Hello, Alpha. Is this Scotty's way to die in a zombie apocalypse? Trust me. If I was going to... What a freaking giga chat. If I was going to go out in the zombie apocalypse, I would go out with so much style. <laughs> Yes! 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 I would go out with so much style. I don't know how I would do it, though. How would Scotty Blades go out in the zombie apocalypse, chat? How would I, how would I do it? God, there's so much good loot in this place. What's a Giga? It's like a super duper... Overly masculine male. A giga. A giga. Padded leg armor. Yes. Perfect. Shoes. It's all coming together. And steel club parts. Oh man. Shotgun parts. With guns blazing and hot dog flopped out. You lost me at hot dog. You had me at guns blazing. You lost me at hot dog. I would never eat something that people call a glizzy gobbler. I'd go out dabbing. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Helicopter crash? Don't bring that. Don't bring that bad juju here, John. Helicopter crash. Buns glazing? <laughs> That's actually how I want to go. Do you guys remember that uh, Southern Comfort whiskey commercial where the slightly overweight he's a big thick boy is walking down the beach and he's uh he's just in a like a man thong and he's drinking southern comfort big bulge on the front that's exactly how i want to go just walking a beach with a glass of southern comfort Your hot dog flopped out? Why would I go out with my wiener out? Take that, you zombies! Controlled breathing. Learn how to hold your breath to eliminate all barrel sway. Cool. Oh, yeah, I'm still thirsty. That's right. I slept so good and deep, I thought I missed work. Hey, you did, you did good. I wouldn't let you miss work. That's not true. I've tried to keep you from not missing work. It didn't, it, it didn't work, so... I'd have made every attempt to get you to go to work. <laughs> what do we got here? What is this? A wrench? Nice. Lock pick. Machete parts! Don't I have a machete? No, I have a stupid hunting knife. Whatever. What's up, Sean? How are you? Red dye and a sandwich. Can I sell these ham sham ham sand these sh sham hamiches? That guy broke my block. I need to fix that because that's going to be a problem. 
That is going to be a problem. Let me... I'll be back. You're too precious for this world. <laughs> precious blades! Where did I put my storage chest? I got a zombie beating on my damn house. God, how do they hear you inside of the house? That's a freaking croc. And I hate it. They don't smell me. Probably saving a big titty goth chick. <laughs> Come, wench. <laughs> Uh, somebody said I can put this water purifier mod on my helmet. Is that... Oh, a level 4 knuckle wrap? Wood. What do you need to make a block? Just wood, right? Why wouldn't they smell you? You haven't showered in days? I take a lot of pride in keeping myself clean. Even in the zombie apocalypse. I use Old Spice for men. Just for men spice. Old. To keep this body clean and pristine. The closest thing to godliness is cleanliness. Thank you Old Spice for not sponsoring this show. I wish Duke Cannon would sponsor the show. I use the hell out of some Duke Cannon. I think that zombie gave up. Hey, Amanda. Put that water mod on your hat and you can drink murky water. Oh! Sex! Huh? Put that work... I didn't, I didn't grab it. I think that zombie gave up and he stopped trying to beat my wall to death. Or he's in here. No wonder they know I'm in here. Do you hear all that crap I'm knocking over? Water modifier. I'm also out of wood. Let's try this out. Body. Helmet. Modify. So with this mod, I can now drink water, right? Wicked. I like how the zombie starts giving up halfway through. Oh no, he's back at it again. Hey Morgan! Have you seen the game My Friendly Monsters? I don't know about My Friendly Monsters, but we are playing a brand new puppet horror game tonight called Something Something Puppets. I put it in my video that I posted today in Discord and uh, I posted it everywhere. It's something something puppet something. Mechanical parts. Okay, that wood should help me repair my spear now, right? What do I need to repair my spear? This is not good. I could just make another one. I think I need rocks to do that. You keep beating, I'll keep living. That's my life philosophy. You keep beating, I'll keep living. Something, something, something quality. That's, that's me. Where's the spear? Oh, I need plant fibers. And more stones. Diddle dick. I'm so into this game when you play it. You like it? It's very, uh, it's very survival-y. If you stealth, it's more difficult for zombies to hear you. Yeah, but I'm clearing this place. I'm... I gotta get that sweet loot.
There we go. Quest R to build a campfire. I don't need it. This game only on PC? No, if I'm not mistaken, and AJ and Tammy would know more than I do, I'm pretty sure you can get this game on console. In fact, I'm just about positive you can get this on console. I'm so positive that I'm going to ask them to answer it. Something, 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 dark side. <laughs> Darth Sidious is just the coolest bad guy ever, man. Something, something, something. But, if I had to pick a Dark Lord of the Sith, I would pick Count Dooku. Dooku's my favorite Dark Lord of the Sith. Dooku is the freaking man. Okay. Are you HIV positive? No, thank God. Can they see you through the windows? No, apparently their hearing's a lot more sensitive than I would give Jar Jar's your guy. There is a conspiracy theory that Jar Jar is a, Darth, or a Dark Lord. These guys hear way better than you would think people who are dead would hear. Way better. Should I test out the theory of whether I can drink doo-doo water or not? Yes! Nothing cleanses the palate like doo-doo waters. More sham sandwiches. Also, I need a flashlight. Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft this item. Decreases movement and stamina penalties for armor. Nice. Get active. If you like smashing stuff, I really do. There's somebody here. He's in here somewhere, but I don't know where he's at. If you like sma... Ow, sire. <laughs> it's lame. <laughs> Meow, sire. <laughs> That's the bougiest cat I've ever seen before. Meow, sire. Meow. Oh! Why does Papa destroy everything that we love? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Stupid internet. I didn't mean to do that. God, that was complete accident, man. Whoops. Well, now I'm the proud owner of a potted plant. I'm just glad that zombie didn't stink up and eat me while I was on a pee pee break. Yes. No. 
，喵，喵，喵，喵。Alright, let me I'm gonna test out the murky water theory, guys. I'm hungry and thirsty, so let's according to you all. Y'all are the experts. I'm just the talent. If I drink this murky water, I won't die. Here we go. Well, I'll be danged. Eat some of this hash, and we should be good to go. Hey, you cat is cute from the video. Looks like a little lion. I don't have a cat. That was all just special effects. Pants. I already have pants. These pants are better. Cold resist is better than what I'm wearing. Yeah. There you go, Giga Chad. Nice pants. <laughs> what a loser. But he's my loser. Beanie? How'd they get this thing shoved in there? Scotty did have a cat till he murdered it? That's true. No cat safe around me. <laughs> I'll accidentally spear it to death while I'm trying to... I'd like to collect those photos. That would be nice. Is there anything else in here I need to grab before I leave? I know I need to be smacking these with trash. Tomorrow, in this game, we're stone hunting, baby. And we're going to make this place our base, I think, maybe. We'll clear these other houses here in town and see what all there is to offer, but I think this may be our, our base of operations here. I like cats. Cats are fine. I've had a lot of cats in my life. I've had a lot of animals in my life. Animals are fine. They're just fine. They provide so much uh, camaraderie. Yeah, so do people. You can have conversations with people. You can't have a conversation with a cat. I talk to my cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool. No Jackie Chans. Man. If no zombies heard that, I think we're good. You can actually have a conversation with your hat, your cat. It don't talk back. You, I guess you could say that cats are fantastic listeners. Because they don't talk back. Your uncle's dog passed away at 17? That's a long, fantastic life. I just found out yesterday, after really thinking about it, that my dog, Titan, is uh, 13. He's an old dog. Old, old poochie. I've attracted, I've attracted dead. Oh my God, that guy's red-eyed. Hey, Patsy. Um, he's going to destroy my entertainment system. for the nail gun. Core resource for forges that can be used to make ammo casings. Nice. I can sell that. Old sham sandwich. That asshole. Hang on, be care uh be be cool. I got nothing to hit him with. I got a gun or anything in here? 
A ball and arrow. That ain't gonna do it though. It's a damn shame. <laughs> it didn't do it. It's a damn shame. Welcome. Ow. I don't have any band-aids. Not made any. Hey, Elizabeth. Cats won't talk back. If you make them mad, they'll just claw up your couch. <laughs> I like cats. Cats are very independent. Dogs are man's best friend. They really are. Like they're they're always there for you 24/7. But sometimes you just want to be left alone. You know what I mean? Cats know. Cats just know. Cats are incredibly intelligent creatures. They just know that now's not the time. Or they know that now is the time and they're very good at showing up when you need them the most. I like cats a lot. I like all animals, don't get me wrong, but cats are pretty cool. I like cats. <laughs> I have what in my storage? Meow's not the time. Meow! Meow's not the time. Daddy's busy. Meow's not the time. Oh, I do got some band-aids. Good heads up. It is nighttime. No, it's daytime. I can go outside now. Anything I need to do on day one. I got a lot of water. You're now level two, sex. I feel like I need to secure the house a little bit better tomorrow. Thirsty. I know glue is more rare now. I can sell those pants. Put the pipe there. Put the soil there. That is sledgehammer skills. That'd be good. Potted plant, for some reason, I decided to take scraps, which we need to use to make band-aids. Let's make band-aids real quick while I'm thinking about it. Because Lord knows I need band-aids. Wrong button. Dogs just don't understand. Dogs are just incredibly... Now, again, I'm not anti any particular animal. I think animal companionship is incredibly important. But dogs are always just... Love, 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 love. Cats can read the room. Cats just know. You know what else is really uh, unique about cats? Is how much that they come up in ancient mythology. Like the Egyptians, particularly the Egyptians, were incredibly obsessed with cats and thought that cats were almost like what am I doing? Cats were in-betweens. They were communicators. They were pathways to uh, the afterlife and the other dimensions, which is really cool. Let me drink some of this murky water and we'll roll. You prefer cats? I do too. I've got a dog. I love my dog. Uh, I've worked with dogs my entire life. A, an incredibly well-trained dog is just one of the boys. Because, you know, on our tactical teams, we've always had assault dogs. We didn't call them bite dogs. That's what they were there for. The dogs were there to bite. They were supposed to, you know, be a non-lethal method to take down bad guys. But they were just one of the guys, man. They were incredibly well-behaved. They used the bathroom on their own. When I would sit and do paperwork at my desk... It was very common for our work dogs, our service dogs, to just run up and hang out beside of me while I was doing paperwork. Incredibly well-trained dogs. Or uh, dogs are incredibly, can be incredibly well-trained. Noink. They don't crash now. When your cat's sick or hurt, he comforts me. Yeah, cats can read the room. Cats know. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Try to explore other houses? I absolutely will. There's a couple things I gotta knock off here. 
like building this campfire and stuff, but yeah. We need to get some antibiotics or honey. And from what I understand, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, the only way to get corn in this game now, or any kind of plant, is we got to punch the plant now. We can't just, we can't just take it down, right? Potato plant. We can't just... And then I guess maybe we plant it again? So you punch the plant and then it grows and then you kill the plant and then you plant it again? Dead corn. Dead corn. Dead corn. Live corn. Once cats learn how to open cans, they don't need us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, once cats learn, <laughs> they're not going to need us anymore. That's true. Man, running is really loud, ain't it? They're just not going to need us no more, Scotty. Once they learn how to do that, you're right. Let's go to that trader, guys. Good job, survivor. That's me. Let's make another... Let's make that stone spear I want to make. Stupid loud Scotty. Oh my god, my door! Screw you, Jackie. Achievement unlocked, potato puncher. hungry again. Time to make chili dogs? What's your problem? How can you come in here and say that? If you stealth, the sound from all actions is lowered? Alright, hear me out. Hear me out. Amy, first of all, thank you and welcome. And keep the advice coming because I am learning the game. It's slow. And there's a very particular way that I live my life. Very, very particular way that I live my life. It is tactically more sound, but I just... There's just something about me, man. I'm, I'm just pedal to the metal. I can't help it. It's amazing how loud your character is. The master of Bumble. That's me, baby. Explode! Is this my house? My house. Use the sprint key at the same time? Thank you. That works. It's just the way of Bumble Blades. Ain't that the truth? Mind blown. <laughs> Working stiff? That's what they called me in college. Because I had to dance for money so I could get through college. He works hard for the money. <laughs> So hard for the money, honey. Don't touch me there. He works hard for the money. You better treat him right. <laughs> okay, I need to repair that. I'm in. Passing gas. It's my favorite place to shop. Whoa, that is a repair kit. Repair kits are used to repair held and worn items, vehicles, and more. And more. He cries as his strips. I wouldn't make as much money if I cried while I stripped. I feel like that would be a turnoff for most people. <laughs> Just put it right there in the G-string. From the home repair enthusiast to your professional repair man, we've got you covered. Improves repair tools. Nice. Nice. 
And I also got a can of gas. All right, squat and then sprint. Because nobody else told me that. Thank you, Amy. I've got to find a stump. Can I make a stump by whacking this tree? Can I make a stump by whacking this wood? Wood whacker, wood whacker. I'm always hungry. Put it in the G-string. Yeah, just put it in the G-string. You know who wears a G-string religiously? Wayne Brady. You guys remember Wayne Brady from... Not the Brady Bunch. I, I guarantee you somebody honestly be like, The Brady Bunch? No, not the Brady Bunch. Wayne Brady from uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Also, I think he hosted his own show called The Wayne Brady Show. He was uh, pretty adamant in wearing G-strings. New house. I'm also cold. I figured that would happen. Let's make a deal. Is that the show that he did? Let's make a deal. Nice. The football player? No, Wayne Brady didn't play freaking football. I'm getting snowed on and I'm cold, guys. What do I do? Find fire! I didn't wear my beanie. How bad is cold? It ain't a big deal, right? I'll live. It's always cold. The door's locked? Not anymore, it's not. Hello, zombies! I'm home! Holy crap, it's Scotty! Do you, know, do you know what show I really hated? That my par- Oh, look, it's my grandpa! You know what show I really hated? That my grandparents always made me watch? Or not grandparents, that my mom and dad always watched? Who's- Not whose one is it anyway, damn it! Um... Crap, I just had it in my mind, I lost it. You're letting the stank out, guys. Oh. Deal or no deal? <laughs> the hell? Ah! Help! Help! Where'd you come from? I can't. I'm dead. Uh, deal or no deal? The one with uh, Howie Mendel, the guy who could blow a condom up with his face. He would take a... No, it wasn't a condom. It was a balloon. It might have been a condom. I don't remember. He would take it and rub it. Like, put it over his bald head, over his nose. And he'd blow into it and it would expand. That was his big... Sh like. That was his big call to fame, was being able to do that. Yeah, I should have put the banjo on the hot bar. I, I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. I am really cold. But I must get eggs first. Dill or no dill? And you had that guy, the banker, who would sit there and, like, they'd play that music and he would decide whether or not you got the deal or not. Like, the banker's offering you 1400 Whatever. That guy ain't saying nothing. You know when Howie calls up there, they ain't saying diddly dick. I needed some clothes. Hat. Bed. 
better. <laughs> I need wood. I need wood. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm in panic mode. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm freezing. I don't have any wood. We're gonna die. Sap. No honey whatsoever. Can you win this? Uh, you don't... I don't guess you technically win it. You just survive for 100 days. Yes! Much better. Yeah. Yes! Now I'm not so cold. Quick tool your bandages. I'm on it, guys. I got it. Hello, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I just made a boo boo earlier. I got sidetracked and forgot what I was doing. Can we put shoes on Giga Chad? I lost my shoes. My shoes are on my dead body in the other house. What we need to do now is we need to stock up on some weapons before we go back in there. Mm. Still tool parts. Scrap advanced armor tools and weapons to acquire whatever, blah, blah, blah. We need a pot to cook with, because I'm running low on food. Torches, cloth, wood, and animal fragment, okay? You can hatch it furniture for wooden cloth? Oh, really? Goodbye, living room. Yeah, there's some wood. Not much, but it got the job done. Yeah, not bad. Could be better. I didn't like that couch anyway. Let's go back and get our stuff, guys. There's no way we die again. <laughs> Here we go. No way we die again. There was a lot of zombies in this house. And I was even sneaking. See what sneaking did for me? Nothing. It got me killed. Ooh, more knuckles. Is this the house? Yeah, this is the house.
Everybody in the audience just jumped plumb out of their skin, John. I hope you're freaking happy. That was a friendly zombie. She was wagging her tail. Is that right? All right, we're, we're back not as cold as we was before. Also, mods, you know what to do with John. These nucks are pretty good. I mean, they're level four, they better be good. Before we go any farther in this house, let's make sure, ah, oh, cool, Lone Wolf! That looks like Denzel Washington from uh, Man on Fire, but it says some bald guy. <laughs> All right, chat. I know we're over encumbered. Let me read that magazine. Are we hungry? I got another football helmet, or am I not wearing it? Yeah, I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing this stupid beanie. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Can of dog food. Delicious. Cold. Oh, those pants are better. Why am I not wearing these pants? I'm not wearing any pants. I'm wearing these straw, these plant fiber pants. Okay. Here we go, guys. Can't not possibly be cold now. Damn it, John. Yeah, I guarantee everybody jumped out of their gourd. Let's clear the house before we do anything else. They always get one hit on me, and I always run out of stamina, I swear. I'll get better, guys, I promise. They always get one hit on me while my stamina's low. That is so satisfying to beat the shit out of a dead guy. <laughs> It's the most satisfying thing in the world, I swear. You can feel the hit behind the impact. Like you can it you can feel bringing the pain, baby. I got a concussion, but what's new? Ooh. Search bathtub field. Ooh. How's the game? You never tried it? I am, uh, I'm addicted to it, guys. I gotta be honest with you. If I could play this all day, all the time, I would. I'm addicted to it. Ow! Kidding me.
This place is loaded. There are zombies everywhere. This is a problem. I think I've attracted every zombie in the Tri-County area. That was a lot. Hit me with that hand, you cannot. That was a lot. Holy crap. Hit me, hit me, hit me. You can't. Reach me with that hand. Reach me with that hand. Reach me with that hand. You cannot. The hell was that? Swoosh. <laughs> Trick shot with the first Steven joke of the day. Steven Siegel. Bring some comedy to the channel. What do you say? Lord knows I can't do it because I'm too busy concentrating. Hi, guys. It's me, Steven Siegel, and I got something to say. Thank you, Trick Shot, for bringing me to the stage. What's the speed limit in bed? It's 68. Once you hit 69... You have to turn back around. What? What did the woman say when her boyfriend cried after sex? I had you pegged for someone else. <laughs> I'm Scotty Blade, and here at Action Heroes for Hire, we are here to be hired for you to be a hero. Camera? Hi, I'm Scotty Line Blades, action hero for hire. Do you have a problem that needs a solution? Do you have a problem that needs a solution? Werewolves have some silver. Give me up! Zombies? Nothing that old boomer can't fix. <laughs> Nazis? That's so 1942. Aliens? Get out of here off my earth. Taxes? Solve world hunger? It's a pizza. Here at Scotty Blades Action Hero for Hire, we got a problem for all your solutions. Which which camera deck? No mission too big, no challenge too hard. I don't know what to do with my body in front of the camera deck. There's nothing that I can't handle! We're gonna win it! We're gonna win it! Raised by a family of beavers. Trained by a group of bald men this I'm back. I'm not dead. I got a cup of coffee. And if we don't want these daytime streams to die, we gotta get them likes up. We gotta get them up, baby. We gotta get them likes up. Somehow I didn't die. Grandpa! What was that? A bandana. Hmm. So, I got some painkillers. That's good. Use. You love to see it. 
My sh leather straps are useless now. Hmm. Hmm. I got some iron. There's something outside that's growling, like a cheetah or something. Outside here in this game. I don't really have any space for anything else. I can get rid of this wrench. Scrap it. Scrap this other stone spear. I don't need three stone spears. I can't spam the likes here like on Facebook. Yeah, you can. There's a little heart button right below, right beside the chat bar you can hit. You can spam all you want. Spam it up. I'm going to scrap his bandana too. Is this better than what I've got? The coal resist? 20, no, this is that puffy coat's the bomb. It's got better heat resist though. Ravioli and sauce. I love ravioli. I'll get rid of this meat. If you look at other houses, I am I just have showed up at this house. Like I'm still I'm still in the process of clearing this house. I just have showed up here. We came in, we got assaulted by a crap ton of zombies. We survived. You love ravioli? I got a can in my pocket. I got a can of ravioli for you. Why don't you stick into my hand in your pocket and see what it is? It's ravioli. Hey, Michelle. I already checked the bathtub. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, a cooking pot. Hell yes. That is exactly what we needed. That's awesome. I think the house is clear. There's still a bunch of stuff going on here that we need to grab. Man, I am really over encumbered. Should I just build a chest in every house that I go into? Because I run, I run out of stuff fast. Mm, I could. Wear the shirt and the bandana. Wear the shirt and the bandana. But I got this cool helmet that lets me drink water. Oh, I could have wore the bandana. I had a face place. Face place. Oh, shit. Again. People who watch this show who know what they're doing. Of course, I have no idea. I've never played the game before, but... Oh my god, that only guy got a war What's in the pocket only? Ravioli, ravioli. <laughs> oh. What a noise. Oh. I am going to make another chest. Why not? I'm just going to make all these places my bases. Places, bases. Places, bases. Why not? Where's the chest that I made? Hey, Robert, start crafting better tools. Don't call me a tool. I need to just make a bunch of stuff, right? Because that the more I make stuff, the more that it gets better. Mm. Make another bandana. I need cloth fragments to do that, so... Fuck you, couch! You just finished your first session with your therapist? Has anybody ever bought after their first session? So it was pretty commonplace that we had to go see a therapist once a week just because we, we were in hazardous duty. And we were always in like life or death situations and hazardous hazardous moments and never cry, but man, those people are a godsend. They're incredibly important. Bandana. Now I'm cool. 
Now I'm cool. Now I'm cool. Holy crap. Aha! Secret! I knew I'd find a secret. Yep, them people are godsends. They're incredibly important. Glue, iron. Filthy toilet water. What does paper do in this game? Paper can be used with other ingredients to make shotgun ammo. Dynamite and cigars. Wow. Not what I was expecting. Ooh. 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 Weapons bag. I've yet to find a gun, and I will continue to not have a gun. It's a new feeling. It's pretty great. It is good to let it out. A sound suppressor will not work on a revolver. That's good, though. Scrap advanced armor tool and weapons to acquire these items used in the craft new items. Okay. Oh, shit. What did I just do? Huh. Cigars are good if you perk the street into the drink street. I think I probably will. I got a pipe pistol. Level four. Hydraulics is advanced tweak to hydraulics increases the rate fire of robotic weapons. Somebody said to put a lot of, to like craft a lot of robotic stuff to get experience fast. It's good for toilet paper. This is better cold resist. It's a hooded sweatshirt. I am in the cold for now. I may switch back out to this later. There we go. Somehow that goes over my football helmet. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. You can go over my hooded helmet, my football helmet. That's fine. You offer free hugs? Like I said earlier, the reason why I like streaming so much is the social experience of streaming. Did I just get shot? It allows you to still make social connections without having to leave the comfort of your home or at work or while you're driving or any of that stuff. You get to meet new people without having to put a lot of work into it. Humans need each other. It's awesome. It's odd. You never wanted a trauma dump. It's not trauma dumping if you look at it that... Their job is to help you through trauma. Like, if you walk up to your friend who has their own trauma, and then you trauma dump on them, so now they're dealing with their trauma and your trauma, then, yeah, you kind of feel a little icky about it. But when you go to a professional who's got their shit squared away... <sighs> And you tell them about your shit, and they get your shit squared away, then everybody's shit smelling real good. And it's a great place to be. So yeah, they're pros. They are absolute pros. That's what they're supposed to do. Stone axe, let's make it. Scrap the old one. See, I'm learning. I didn't know this was all important. Scrap. Got me a new one. Should I scrap these knuckle wraps and repair the other knuckle wraps? Probably not. Can make a bone knife, a stone sledgehammer. That that feels like it would be good. Go yell at some trees. That's what I do after every stream. I go outside and yell at trees. Nails. Tired of being bullied? Give your rivals a fat lip with a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Blow stuff up. I love blowing stuff up. Explosions are off. All right, search that. I'm in town. I end up taking a grippy sock. Bam! Howdy, Ted. Oh, I didn't mean to pick a chair up. You're not allowed to have any art. I'm really excited to search the upstairs. There's a crap ton of stuff upstairs. That's where the zombies broke through earlier. How did 
not getting at it. Yes, medical supplies. Come on, zombie infection stuff. Nope, but I'll take it. How did I get upstairs earlier? <sighs> Out of stamina, I'm swinging that. I see how it is. Coffee beans. All that work for coffee beans. This will work. Thank you, zombies. What's up, Ted? Good afternoon, buddy. This is where I made my final stand. Yoink. Whoa, I got some dupe tokens. Nice. Some super oil. Um, I'm still not hungry yet, somehow. Nothing quite like that warm bean flavor. Good morning, sweetie birdie. I'm out of coffee. You're out of coffee. Cushion fat. Wonderful. Out of coffee. What a time to run out. And why run out? Now there's a new giant size instant Maxwell House. A really big jar of coffee. New giant size instant Maxwell House gives you cups and cups and cups. Dozens of extra cups of the coffee with that warm bean flavor. Warm bean flavor because it's made from coffee beans still warm from roasting. That's why new instant Maxwell House is the freshest tasting coffee yet. So to make sure you've always got plenty of coffee for the man in your house, get the new giant size instant Maxwell House. You won't have to run out again. Oh, I'm hungry. I got, I got a can of stuff in here somewhere I can eat. Yeah, I got some pears I can eat. Eat them. Yummy. Pears eaten. Nothing like a moist, misty, dewy butt crack on a midsummer's day. I keep Gold Bond in service, guys. Single-handedly, I keep Gold Bond. When you got thick thighs and... Huge manly parts, which is a complete lie. You keep you keep them in stock. Mm. I know glass shards, we need them, but right now I don't. Get rid of that. There we go. This run's going much better. You need the Scotty Blades... It's called, uh, <laughs> you're wet. How? How did I get wet? Oh, the snow's getting in through the roof. It's called powder donut holes. It's my new gold bond brand brand bond thick thigh committee. Hell yeah. I do have a hard time running. I'm just not built to run. I'm built for like short bursts of strength. Running's not my forte. But I did used to drive a Kia forte. And I get back downstairs again. Where's that secret entrance at? Aha! Uh -huh. Another pipe gun. Good. Pro, uh, increased bow crafting skills. Thick thighs save lives. Man, just... Can we just take a moment to just appreciate thickness? If you're skinny, hey, I still love you. All bodies are beautiful. But thickness? I mean, come on. You know how people say that certain stuff is their comfort? Food or like comfort language. Thickness is my comfort language. Ah. Uh, no, I killed a dog. Ah. Uh, all right. Uh, time to go hit another house. We're getting some good loot, though. I don't know how I'm going to consolidate all this loot together to know what I need. I also need to level up. 
think I've got some some bullets to run this revolver with. Let me spear. I got two uh, two of these things. Let's scrap that and repair that. Is it better to repair or is it better to just keep making new hammers? Grab the bullets. We got water. We got potatoes. Do I have a can of food? Yes. We'll put the potatoes there. Actually, we need to build a fire right here. And we need to cook some food. I think that'd be a good idea. Scotty, you dirty dog. <laughs> when you pick up books and magazines, there's a book icon. If it's open, you've already read it. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. Thanks for the heads up. Also, I should have a cooking pot right here. I think I can boil potatoes in that. Bake a potato. Still boil water when you can because it'll give you more than murky water. Copy. Am I already running a pistol? I am not. That's like a Schofield. That's cool. This game's great. I'm glad you guys told me about it. It's a great game. I wish it got more viewership when I stream it. Maybe if I streamed it at night, it would have a better viewership. But I really like it. I like it a lot. I only have two bullets? I thought I had more, more than that. Oh, I just reloaded. That's why. You're welcome. Mmm... I think we're good on everything. I got band-aids. I got full life. We're doing pretty damn good. We've not set a base up yet for, you know, when the apocalypse happens. I like games like that. I like doing survival during the daytime and uh, changing up at night. I like it. I don't know if you know, but investing two points into parkour can be great help. I didn't know that. Did, uh, you guys bring these tips. Bring them on, baby. I've got... I got five points available. Um, I now want to put point in strength. Okay. And minor 69er I heard is really good. Everyone wants to start somewhere. Increase tool damage by 10% and block damage by 30 with any pick, axe, shovel. Yeah. So I got three more points. You can build a super easy and quick horde base for night seven, so you're good. Okay. And you said put points in parkour? Parkour. Parkour. Specialize in acrobatically getting anywhere you want to, no matter how far you go. You can do a few moves, but mostly you're just used to following your face. Increase safe fall distance by one meter. I'm down for that. You cut through first, operate from the shadows, and you stealth sneak attack, sneak attack, doing extra 50 damage. Hell yeah! I like sneaking. Hide in the shadows, turn some more effect the noise from action muffled. Hell yeah! We're going all sneak, baby. Then I probably shouldn't have put points in strength, but whatever. I'm learning. I'll need to find some water soon. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime. Maybe we shouldn't go out. What do I need to build in here? What does a land claim block do? I wish it told me. Right-click to inspect an item recipe or active at left-click holding right. Yeah, okay. 
You watched a guy do 15 flips? <laughs> Take that! Cabinets and cupboards, candle top, farm plot, steel block, loose boards, iron ladder, sinks and toilets. Check the toilet for water. I have been. I learned that technique yesterday. I have been checking the toilets for water. I could have made a bucket. Paintbrush, advanced bellows. I feel like I need to make a forge. Where do I find forges at? Hay bale, grass seed, destroyed stone, appliances. All right, it's nighttime, great. A set of keys. I don't really have anything. I could make a B. Well, the trader wouldn't be open anyway. And doesn't the special effect, like whenever, whenever it's nighttime, don't all zombies get stronger? Don't touch the keys. What? Why not? Press E to activate wood key rack. Why not? What happened? Opens all locked doors. Oh! Do you have a wrench? I actually think that I did have a wrench and I dismantled it. I think. Maybe I didn't. I used it to beat the hell out of somebody earlier. I think I scrapped it and nobody said anything. <laughs> I had a wrench at one time. Classic Scotty. Do I eat the fish? I won't. There are books under the inspect that you click. When you give a short description, land claim bot will stop zombies from respawning at your point of interest. Oh! So should I claim this land? Land claimer? I'll claim it. Why not? I don't know what that noise is. That creepy... I don't know why I did that. I meant to eat. I meant to drink water. I don't like art. Get out of my house. I am now claiming this land for me. Here I go. I did it. Activate land claim block. Oh, it is active. Okay. It's already active. I did it, guys. This is my land now. I feel like a real Native American and not just somebody who's a 16th Native American and talks about it all the time. Now I'm real Native American. I have land now. What do you guys do at night when you don't go out there and run around fighting zombies? Like, what's some good stuff I can be doing right now to get my place set up and ready? Or should I just go out there and face the zombies? The music always sounds like something bad is getting ready to happen. Locked. Searched all this, searched all that. Secret vent. Build, build, but you're screaming, so you kind of can't. I can't build while I stream. I might as well. Secret. What if I dig a hole? 
I hear a zombie. He can probably hear me. I feel like I should block all the windows so they can't see in here. I can make a bunch of stone spears and get better. Get well soon. I'm not sick. Oh, remember yesterday I was telling you guys about how my sinuses have been acting up? Surrey County and the uh, Forsyth County and Wilkes County and like all the surrounding counties that I live in all put a pollen advisory out. I've never seen that before. The pollen is so bad right now that they put out an advisory on it. That's nuts. Your 116th Lakota Sioux. Why are my spears not level 2 yet, guys? You took a break from the stream? Was my stream getting on your nerves so you had to disconnect from it? I can't stand it. I gotta take a break from this stream. <laughs> we have Paul. Looks like That's exactly what... I went out yesterday and I thought... Like some smoke had come down from like the wildfires from Canada that we've been dealing with, but it's just pollen. It's just straight up. There's so much pollen. You have to read spear books. Oh, I thought I got experience points from just making the stuff. That's what I was told. Upgrade things in the house. Do skills. Do skills. All right, I got skills. I used all of them. Check for things that you can make for upgrades. Okay. You don't know what other YouTubers are doing? What are they up to? Anything fun? Can we use a variety of recipes? Stop bleeding, suture location. I'm just going to take all the stuff out of my inventory and see what all I can do with it. I'm full. Now, let's see. Cobblestone rocks. Duct tape. What does duct tape do? I wish it would tell me. Just tell me what duct tape does. No room in inventory? Oh, boy. Mmm... Okay, we got duct tape. Cobblestone rocks. Cloth fragment. Let's, why not? Click the craft item and then click recipes. Oh, okay. I don't have a whole lot of stuff unlocked. Oh, I can make a splint. That'd be good. And then, uh, what am I not wearing right now? I don't have anything on my... I don't have any gloves. Padded gloves. Which does... Bandana, padded boot, padded chest armor. Let's do padded gloves. Hey, James. What's up, buddy? I 
I look like a guy who belongs in the apocalypse. Go to your skills points page and click the far right icon next to the book. Far right icon next to the book. This thing? That's how many books of each thing you have read, and it'll tell you what quality you can make. Oh, okay. I got you. I can make better clubs now. Or no, I can't. I'm close to... Oh, okay. I can make grenades. <laughs> Repair tools. I can almost make a claw hammer. Okay. We really need to find more magazines then. You didn't get an alert? There's, I, I try so hard. There's so many ways to get around stuff like that. And here's several ways to do it. Discord. And threads. I made an announcement on threads. I made an announcement on our Facebook group. I made an announcement on Instagram. There's a bunch of ways. A bunch of different uh, bunch of places you can get it at. I tried. I tried my best. Sorry you missed it. Because we miss you. Glad you're here. You don't have any of that stuff? You don't have Discord, Threads, Instagram, Facebook mess or Facebook group, none of that stuff? Have you tried turning whoops? Have you tried turning all notifications on for YouTube? If it makes you feel any better, we're doing this all week this week. We're starting at one all week this week, between twelve and one. Two more hours, I can go outside. I don't need these dupe coins. I think we head to the trader and do some missions. What do y'all think? I got water. I got food. I got a torch. I got my spear. You forgot the Warther's Reach around? Have you tried turning it off and on? I'm good. I am good. In two hours, we can go explore. I have Discord, YouTube, and Facebook. I'm sure I didn't say anything. I tried my best. Sometimes, that's why I posted on so many different platforms, because it's all algorithm-based. So I try to reach as many people as I could, and it's just... It's all algorithm-based. You post on Instagram, maybe five people will see it, maybe 500. You just never know. You post on threads, maybe five people will see it, maybe 500 will see it, you never know. You post, you post on the Facebook group, maybe five people will see it, maybe 500 will see it, you never know. It's all purely algo, and it's uh, a pain in my butt. It's a butt pain. You're cold? You're cold. We need a pop of blades, lamp in the sky. I call it putting out the blade signal. I try to post on many platforms as I can. The blade signal is up. There's something behind the bookshelf? Where at, Sideshow? Up here in the attic? Something behind the bookshelf. That would help what? Me putting it out on five different places? I put it out on five different places. A blade signal? Oh, a, a literal, <laughs> a literal uh, lamp that I put up in the sky. Look, the blade signal. Eep. Paper, great. I love paper. Any more trash in here I can knock out? I've only got another hour if I can go outside. A big titty goth chick signal? That'll bring me a lot more than just a leak of blades if I put that up in the sky. 
I'd get a lot of folks. I'm like, who are you? I'm here for the BTGC. Oh, we'll get in line. There's a zombie right outside. I checked that toilet, right? Yeah. And I've done good. There's no trash in here to pick up or anything. I've cursed myself. I can't even get past my own block. Takes a walk outside, sees blaze signal. Man, you're beating up my door, bro. It's a timeless roll. If you stay in this house, it's just taking out the stairs and moving to the attic. Hey, it's a good idea. I can do that. So we have cleared this house, we've cleared that house. Let's clear, this house is a big boy. Can I, can I lay down, shit, there's a lot of people in this place. Can I lay down blocks to claim all of this land so that zombies don't appear in any of these places? That would be nice. Man, there's a whole heap of help on the zombies in here. You have a terrible HOA if zombies are getting in. Homeowners Association. <laughs> yeah, that's what the problem is. <laughs> ah, this neighborhood's going to hell, literally. Hell is raising. There's a bunch of zombies out there. That was good. That was really good. I have to remember that. That's a good meme. I'm still in that. You can't have that back, Josh. I'm still in it. That's my joke now. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you hard, big time. I appreciate you hard, big time, for real. Well. We're going for it. I'm breaking this. I know there's a zombie standing right there, but I'm ready for some action. Hey, Firebrand, what's up, buddy? Man, I'm so sneaky, they didn't even hear me busting this place down. <laughs> Being sneaky is awesome. Why am I not more sneaky? Y'all reckon I should put blocks up in front of that door if somebody sneaks in on me? The blade hungers. <laughs> and sneaks, I do. That reminded me of Rust. You need some Lincoln Logs? You know what? I did more than play Lincoln Logs as a kid. I chewed them. I know that sounds weird, but something about... Something about chewing Lincoln Logs when I was a kid brought me great satisfaction. There was a taste to a Lincoln Log. Brought me great satisfaction. Yeah. 
What? What the hell? Definitely raised by beavers. You knuckleheads ate crayons. You ate Play-Doh. You can't sit there and judge me for chewing on Lincoln Logs. You all ate way... Full disclosure, it's a safe place here on the Scotty Blade Show. What's the nastiest thing you've ever eaten? And why was it monkey brains? Nastiest thing you've ever eaten. What was it? Scotty was testing the durability of Lincoln Logs. Can this hold back a zombie apocalypse? I need to know for the people. Dirt? I've ate dirt. wasn't the wasn't terrible. It had no nutritional benefit to it. Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's aren't nasty. Pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza's not nasty. <laughs> That's personal taste, you ding dong. That's not <laughs> that doesn't make <laughs> that doesn't make it nasty. That's personal taste. Yeah, see, somebody else likes pineapples. Rolly oyster, raw oysters. Ugh. It's a texture thing with oysters, man. I can't do oysters. Chuckney? Ch Chuchney? Chuckney? Ch Chuchney? Chuchney? The leg of a biology dissection frog in junior high? I think it's really, really bad for you, Sideshow. You should probably... Well, I mean, it's a long time ago now, I'm sure, but... Wow. That's not good. That's not good at all. Chew. Activate switch. You ate your ex? Nice. 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 Raw tuna? Really? The trip was bad? Yeah, it's... There, um... There is such a thing as people who work in the... Almost said the dead body world. You know what I'm talking about. People who do, um... Mortuary stuff. There is such a thing... As folks who smoke or snort, like they crystallize the uh, formaldehyde and they abuse it as a narcotic, improves assault crafting skills. Nice. What's this? Steroids. Ooh. Plus 50 carrying capacity, plus 10 run speed, minus 30 water. Ugh. That's good, though. Whenever we decide to consolidate all of our assets from the two houses that we've cleared so far. Scotty yells at us about personal preference. Also, Scotty, I can't do raw ester raw oysters. They are gross. It's the texture. I'm not yelling at you about your personal preference. How's this guy hearing me? Dick stab! Face stab! Face dick stab! Face stab! You gotta go. All right, see you later. This attic's full of people. Yells at us about personal preferences. <laughs> it's the nastiest thing you've ever ate. O oysters are not inherently nasty in the sense of people don't like the taste of them. I just don't like, I don't like the texture. It's different. It's different. It's a different thing. Ooh. I thought this was a judge-free zone. All right. You're right. 
I'm wrong. Uh, I'm pro oyster now. It's not about the texture. They're delicious. I am on. I am. I am team oyster. Team Oyster, that's me. I love oysters. Oysters are great. Soap, you've ate soap? Nice. Did you ever have your mouth full of soap? Because you had dirty mouth when you were a kid and your mom and dad had to punish you by washing your mouth out. You're not supposed to eat the soap. Hot dogs are great too. Get out. Get judged. Get judged. You have been judged. And the judgment is you're the. <laughs> you're everything wrong with society. You get your glizzy goblin ass out of here. I know we need rotten meat, but I don't have it. I don't have inventory. Capri Sun, you get your Capri Sun suck it. Oh, Capri Suns aren't good. All right, I'm back on board. I'm back on board. Had to wash your mouth out somehow. There you go. Regular hot dogs are nasty. I just don't put anything wiener shaped in my mouth ever. No matter how delicious they are. So you do think hot dogs are delicious. Guys, I reiterate the National Health Association, the NHA, has come out and said that there is human, every single hot dog has got 2% human DNA in it. I repeat, every single hot dog has got 2% human DNA in it. You're eating humans when you eat hot dogs. Just to make sure that that hunt hammer's home, Grave Digger Mod Schematic. Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft this item. Ooh. You're eating humans when you eat hot dogs. I'm just saving you from being... That's fine. It's not fine! It's not fine. I'm trying to keep you wonderful, awesome, beautiful human beings from turning into a Wendigo. I don't want to have to wind to blow your ass off this planet because you've turned into a monster. I want us all to be friends forever. Scotty Blades trying to... What part of humans? Well, it's wiener-shaped. So some butcher douchebag stuck his wiener in a... Lamb intestines. I have no idea. It just says 2% DNA. I have no idea. I didn't do the studies that you guys probably would have needed me to. I apologize. Sneak attack! It didn't work. Sneak attack. I'm out of stamina. Bananas taste the way hot dogs smell. Fuel your body with extreme energy mega crush. Ah! Everybody needs a hobby. I shouldn't have done that. I love hot dogs. What's up? How's it going? I actually thought there'd be more people. I think we're going to be alright. I thought there was a bunch of zombies coming. Watch this. 
<laughs> I'm Rick Gerbzames. <laughs> Rick Grimes. I'm Rick. <laughs> I'm Rick James. The milk's gone bad. Oh, I can aim in this game. I forgot. Why did I shake like that? I'm Rick Grimes. The milk's gone bad. <laughs> Rick Grimes. The milk's gone bad. Rick Grimes apparently is coming back and doing another show. I don't know who cares, but I don't. <laughs> Can't say no to a jalapeno cheddar hot dog. You know what I had at Chili's the other day? Diarrhea. But do you know what I had before I ate at Chili's? Their, um, it's called their barbecue, or what is it called? Their barbecue sampler or something like that. Anyway, it comes with their delicious corn on the cob that's like slathered in mayonnaise and paprika and butter and all that stuff that's good for you. Uh, it also comes with their honey chipotle crisper chicken tenders, which was delicious, by the way. And it also came with... Huh? Oh, I got two of those. Maybe back ribs. No, I didn't, I didn't do the ribs. I did the honey chipotle chicken crispers. I did the chicken bacon quesadillas and... I did their jalapeno cheddar summer sausage, but I didn't eat it in sausage form. I cut it into bite-sized pieces to make it non-phallic because my brain huge smart. It was delicious. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Scotty's accent is crazy. Read the schematic. We'll teach you how to craft this item. This armor mod gives you insulation from the cold. Nice. It was delicious till it came out. True. Armor mod. Chicken tenders. I don't say chicken tenders weird. I need water. I need water bad. So if you chop up a hot dog, you'll eat it? No. Sausages is not hot dogs. Again, I reiterate. Hot dogs have human DNA in them. You're eating humans. I refuse to eat my own kind. You might be a cannibal, but I'm a hero. I'm not going to eat my own people. I didn't mean to do that. This place has got a view. Are you guys sure we didn't use, we shouldn't use this house? This place has got a view. Look at this. This is nice. Uh oh. What the?
So if you cut up a hot dog, does the human part go away? Hi, I'm Scotty Blades. And I think it's very important that you understand, I don't eat hot dogs. I cut up a sausage. A sausage is not a hot dog. I don't know how the wires are getting crossed and we're not connecting the dots and the male and the female parts not connecting because I don't eat hot dogs. They've got human DNA in them. And as I've said many times, my father was a butcher. I've been inside the butchery room. I've seen how when they're done for the day and all the scrapings and the drippings and the droppings and the leftovers, they take their butcher cleaver and they scrape it all off the cutting board into a bucket. The bucket, I'm, I might puke talking about it. The bucket gets poured into a sausage machine. They push the slurry into a lamb or a sheep skin intestine condom. And then you're putting meat slurry condoms in your mouth when you're eating hot dogs. Stop eating hot dogs. They're bad for you. Hi, my name is Carla Shaw. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Hi, I'm Todd LaRue. You could stop at five or six stores or just one. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. You could stop at five or six stores or just one. Can I ask you kind of a weird question? You could stop at five or six stores or just one. I'm Scotty Blade. You could stop at five or six stores, or you could only stop at one. Sometimes after I eat, I can still smell the food that I ate in my mustache. Or just one. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. We're at the two and a half hour mark, folks. Do not forget if you're having fun, if we're making you smile, this is a great distraction or a nice little fun adventure to go on during the daytime here. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Thank you all for choosing this place for your live entertainment. Don't forget to like the stream. The likes go a long way. What's up? What's up, Tim? You're built on a foundation of hot dogs. That explains everything. I'm going to eat twice as many hot dogs now because nobody tells me what to do. You do that, David. That sounded so much like me. That may be the most League of Blades response I have ever had to anything I've ever done on this show. I am now going to eat twice as many hot dogs because, quote, nobody tells me what to do. Respect. Respect. Absolute respect. You shouldn't do it. It's bad for you. But respect. What the hell was that? Hot dog saved my marriage. <laughs> okay. Woo! A leather duster. That's great. I mean, I'm not in a place where I need that right now, but that's great. Is that a level four chest armor, which I think I already have? Two leather four chest armors? Ooh. Leather four chest armors. How long did it take to beat through this? Oh, boy. Um, I've got lock picks in one of these houses that I've been in. When you choose a place for Horde Knight, choose a building made of cobble or concrete. Amy, I'm the talent. You're the expert. You and the AJs and the Perkinses of the world, you all are the experts. So, when I come across a place that looks... Ah! When I come across a place that looks like... It'd be a good idea for a house. You let me know. And I will claim it and I will make it mine. For you. My good fun time pal. Where the hell's the water, man? I'm going to die. I need water. I 
I need water. I feel like there's something up in here. This is a weird closet. Is this it? Is this the whole house? I've already cleared this whole house. Oh, I was going to look see if I had some lock picks. We got to get in that gun safe. I think I've got some lock picks. No education in this home. Nobody's smarter than me. We've not cleared the basement yet. Let me see if I got any lock picks. I got a lock pick in one of these houses that I've, I've got. Let's, uh. Hell yeah. I kind of like this house. Does sucking eggs give you life? Maybe this this house I've got the I'm also hungry. I think I left some plants out here. How dare you bring education? Yeah, we don't need education in this home. If you think you're so smart, why don't you go to university and help people be smarter? We don't need that crap around here. I got any more canned food? Mmm, smart. That's me. Mmm, smart. Pots. Potatoes. Cook. Turn on. Activating food. Activating potato. Activating lockpicks. <laughs> Shit. Mm, I do have some tuna. I'm out of water, though. I got a shiitake, some BDU bottoms, I think I got, what is that, padded hood, nice. We're actually doing pretty good on supplies, not doing bad at all. Also got some corn in there, I didn't see that, that's good. Rotten flesh, can you boil rotten flesh, is that what you're supposed to do with rotten flesh, is boil it? Because you can cook anything if you boil it, right? You, as Scotty always said, you can cook anything as long as you boil it. You can cook zombie meat as long as you boil it. No kidding. Why, why couldn't you? There's no disease in it. You cook the disease out. Why couldn't you? Potato. We still need water. I'm not. I don't have any water. I don't know how we're gonna do about water. Mm. Boiled hot dogs are great. You all really just like taking something. Hey Elizabeth, tell me something that you don't like, so I can just beat it into the ground. <laughs> what did I do? I'll be back for you later, potatoes. Boil us hard, daddy. You know I love being called daddy. It's one of my things. I'll never call you daddy again. All right, well, you be that way. You're wet? That's right, because somebody called me daddy. Now I'm wet. Rotten flesh is used for hobo stew and farm plots? Okay. Okay. We really need ammo. Or not ammo. Uh, we really need... Water. Once you turn this thing on, you can't shut it? What the frick? That's stupid. We've also not cleared the basement of this house yet. 
Where's those lock picks? Man, I'm excited. I've never opened a safe before in this game. What do we want to find? Where is it? Where was that room with the safe? Where was the safe? Oh, there it is. Woo! I'm glad that this is guaranteed unlock. This is called the Beaver Box. <laughs> Blade Walker Productions presents the Beaver Trap. The Beaver Trap. Once it goes in, nothing comes out. Beaver Trap. Keeping your stuff safe since Arrows and bolts fly quicker with this modification. Well, I don't use bolts and arrows. Improve shotgun crafting skill. I mean, I guess that's kind of okay. That was a lot of work for nothing. You have unlocked pipe gun shotgun quality too. Well, I mean, that's actually kind of good. Whatever, man. I'm going downstairs. Who cares? That was a waste of time. Let's go see what's in the basement. That's all that was in there. That's it. A magazine, a mod for bolts and arrows, and a bone knife. It was level 3 bone knife, though. We found the men cave, guys. Being sneaky is awesome. Oh, it's not a guarantee the lockpick works? Oh, okay. Being sneaky is way better in this game than how I normally play. I don't know why I almost yelled, take that Marty McFly. <laughs> Take that, Marty McFly. Whoa. Are you guys sure we shouldn't use this as our base of operations? This place seems pretty good. Great, Scott! Appreciate you getting stuck, man. I'll use this time to make myself not so tired anymore. I'm so tired from all this zombie slaying. Bottom head. Bottom head, top head. This place is a tank. It does seem pretty... solid. There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's go kill this other guy over here. It's laying down. There's two more folks we got to clear. we got to clear this guy. Snake damage! Get severed. Ooh. Bitch. Alright, there's one more dude over here. He's a half body guy in this crawl space. Crawl space, aka. We're really bad at sneaking. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. We got a level five squirter. We got a level five squirter. You should craft a bow and arrow. Really? I'm really bad with bow and arrows. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Hardcore boots. Not these little puss shoes. Real boots. Eh. They just look better. They're not that much better. Yes.
You could use this as your home, but my advice is to make the horde base a bit away from your house. Oh. I didn't realize you guys had it in different locations. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go see what kind of sweet, sweet loot we have in this little hole. Poppin' pills. Oh! Fort bites! <laughs> I've never seen these before. The uh, damage mitigation. Man, they take a lot of water out of you. Scrap polymers, band-aids, painkillers. Really? Really? Time for loot? That's the best part of the game. Once you clear the house out, see what kind of stuff's inside of it? That's exciting. Well. <laughs> no! Scrap, adva uh, scrap advanced armor tools and weapons to acquire these items. Huh? You love loot? Boy, I do too. I really do. A lot. You're a loot goblin? I'm, I'm a loot goblin too. It's really, it's a lot like gambling. Oh, a lockpick. Sex. God, we need water bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! I could stand there and beat on that all day long, but I guess I won't. Potato. <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> There's so many mixed emotions in the audience right now. Yes! No! If you're not shooting, you better be looting. Isn't that one of our sayings, Lawrence? Like an old school saying from way back in the before time? In the long, long ago? I gotta find some water. <gasps> oh, come on! Ooh! Beer! But does beer give you... Stamina regen, brawlin, stun duration. Let's see if it if it counts as helping me with my thirst problem. A nice buzz. You're feeling rowdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wants to roll with Papa Blades? You curmudgeon. Mm, improves harvesting tool. If you're forced to fight them around your chest, workstations, or your bedroll, they can destroy them while fighting you. Oh, okay. Improves sledgehammer. Improves assault rifle. Oh my god. Structural brace mod schematic. There's so much stuff down here. Rifle crafting. Knuckles. Repair tool. Nah, that didn't help my thirst at all. I'm still thirsty. And drunk. So now I'm drunk and thirsty. Just like real life. What's your secret, Scotty? I'm always drunk and thirsty. Zombie? And my kingdom for a bottle of water. Let me shred this shirt. I don't need two shirts. I can make antibiotics with sham sandwiches. Oh. Guess I better hang on to those. I also need a flashlight. Bone Daddy. Mm. Uh, 
I feel like somebody got in. I think that's everything down here in the basement. I think. We've not cleared the house yet. I think. Yeah, actually we have. We've cleared this house. That's right. I remember what house we're in now. We've cleared just about everything. Except for this. we got to find some more lock picks. Or just beat on it till it breaks open. Uh, another sandwich. Hi! Billy Mays here with ShamWow! Are you trying to survive the zombie apocalypse and you're currently having an issue with infection? Ooh. Motor tool small kit mod schematic. I am really over encumbered. Mm. What is this? Bottle of acid. Okay. I'm going to scrap these shoes. Um, potato seeds. That's good. I can plant some potatoes later. Let me put this knife right here. Glue's important. Mm. Chromanthium seed. I know I need it for other stuff, but I'm tossing it for now. I got leather. Didn't you get another lockpick? I did, and I tried to unlock it, and it broke immediately. Like, it lasted like three seconds. I need water so bad. Mm. We also need to consolidate all of our loot. Into one. I got a loot box for every house we've been in out here. I've got way, way too much loot spread around. Gunpowder, that's good. Bones. Wait, I'm going to take this bone and repair the... I got a really good bone knife. So let me repair the bone knife real quick. Repair. Reparo. Six. That's a good bone knife. We don't need a letter for now. Let's see. I uh, got all that. Tough glue. Fort bits. Got a lot of um, mods. Steel sledgehammer. Machete. I need to go do some missions so we can get some of these. We need to uh, get a furnace going. I know I can pour all this on there one time, but I wanted to see what all I got first. Put that there. Got some rifle parts. Hell yeah, man. <sighs> Gotta find some water. It's 17 o'clock in the afternoon. 17 o'clock in the afternoon! Let's go hit one more house and see if we can find some water. Oh shit. That's a big boy. We'll try the upstairs. Did he see me? I think he saw me. Chrysanthemum's easy to find. He saw me. Holy shit. Oh my god! Maybe that gun had some ammo in it. <laughs> How many of them puker guys is out there?
Why is there so many of them? Why, why am I having to face off against so many of these guys? What did I do? Stole their mojo? How? There's there's a whole herd of them. How did this happen? It doesn't make any sense. The Night Star residence, cool. There's a whole herd of them. Nice. A wandering horde. They drop a lot of stuff. Sometimes. It's a wandering horde? Okay. Should I have more bullets? How's your survival skills going? Oh, a wandering horde come through. So they're pushing me to the limit. You gonna play this game again? I'm having a freaking blast. Um, so my house is right there. I've not cleared this house yet. There's a gas station right over there and you know good and well there's gonna be some water at that gas station. Oh, aloe vera, sex. Let's go check the gas station out real quick and then come back because we really need some water. Is that a town? I've got beer in my pocket, but beer just doesn't get the job done, you know? That might not be a gas station. That might just be... My stamina sucks. Hybrid energy truck? Come on. Uh, I mean, that's, 
That's fine. I didn't like the... I didn't like the baton when I used it yesterday. I just need water. That's all I need. Just one cup of water. That's all I'm asking for. I didn't see the other guy. Stupid toilet! I'd have drank dookie water right now. I would have drank dookie water. I will drink dookie frickin' water. Yes, that'll work. Sunset in two. Holy crap at the people. Not only is this the equivalent of a CVS in this world, I'm trying not to attract too much attention as I come in here. DPS? How'd you hear me come in? That was some John Wick shit right there, baby! Hello. I will drink dookie water. I'm not too good. I have, I'm sneaking and I'm not making a lot of noise and the whole town knows that I'm here. Yep, here comes the whole town. The whole town knows I'm here. That's great. It's good stuff. I'm out of wood now. Survival tough. Survival tough. Just need water. Just need water. Just any old thing on water. Just some dirty water, some doo doo water, some poo poo water. It's a. It's a like. It's, hello? I've got beer, it just, I can't drink it. I can, but it does me no good. Oh, we found some wood. Hey, Zach. No 
I'll probably just jump over it, knowing my luck. Another ham sandwich. Just water, guys. Just some water. Nothing. Nothing. Giant hole in the wall here. Coffee beans. Six. Rotten flesh. Sneaking works, but not always. Copy. Could that have been any louder? Do you have a bucket? No, I don't have a bucket, but I can make one. Oh, come on, baby. I will drink. I will drink this water. Yes! 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 Give me that sweet, sweet dookie water. Give me the dookie. I'll suck that dookie right now. Whoa, another day. Another dookie. That staved off immediate death. Now I'll just go back to dying slowly. Out of the nasty toll. Oh man, I don't care. You gotta do desperate things in survival like eat hot dogs. I should probably build up some stuff around this wall right here. If nothing else, slow him down a little bit. Scotty, have you built the graveyard so you have a place to poop? <laughs> no, not yet. What's up, Landon? Oh shit, what the hell? Help! Is this the greatest game ever made? This may be the greatest game ever made, guys. Scott has got a place to poop on my graveyard anytime. That happened one time. One time. We've all had code browns. For some reason, my code brown will live in infamy. Where's my sneak name? We are getting a lot of good loot. Antibiotics? Oh, no, but we're getting a lot of vitamins. And Fortnites. We're not alone. I think there's somebody else in here with us. Yep. Are they on the roof? No, they're right there. We're closed. Stay away. Brown came quicker than you wanted it to. It did, man. I didn't have a choice. It was either that or crap in my court outfit. 
Try explaining that to the judge. Uh, agent, why are you not wearing any clothes? Well, your honor, you see, I poop my pants. <laughs> your honor, I, uh, I poop my pants. Is that right? Yes, sir, your honor. Hold this man in contempt. What? I don't know how to make a band-aid yet. What'd you use for TP? I keep TP in my car at all times. I used to have to do a lot of surveillance. A lot of surveillance. A lot of surveillance. So I always kept a, uh, I always kept TP in my car. Ravioli, ravioli, what's in the formuoli? Man, that bow was a complete waste of time to make. Not that it's bad, I just don't have anything to make any stuff with. Minecraft and World War II? What about it? This game? I can't believe we've not found any more water in this whole place. This whole place is almost waterless. Plenty of paper, though. I don't know if it's World War II, but it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of like Rust, because I've seen a lot of Rust elements in this game, but I think Rust came after this. There was no water in this whole thing, guys. No water in the whole thing. Maybe if you say ravioli five times, a ravioli will appear. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. Am I doing it now, Mr. Krabs? Wrap the bow. How do I fix this? This injury. Abrasion. Perks. Aloe cream, first aid, band-aids, or first aid kits. Oh, okay. I got some uh, aloe cream. Somewhere. Use. Fixed it! Fixed it! Boo-boo gone. Boo boo gone. <laughs> Shit, there's a zombie up here. What? <laughs> now the whole town knows I'm up here. I got the whole town in my rear view. Did he give me an abrasion as soon as I fixed the abrasion with aloe? I'm pissed. There goes my sneak bonus. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli. Am I bleeding? You're dying of dehydration. Oh. <laughs> You're dying of dehydration. Ah, I'll be fine. You're dying of dehydration. I'll be fine. Is that a gas station over there? I wonder if I can make it. I'm so over encumbered. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this there. And come back for it later, I guess. Put all this shit in here. We're gonna make a run for that gas station. I'm sure it's gonna go well. I 
I'm going to spend an entire day just running around gathering all the stuff that I've got. When the Mortal Kombat comes out, will you play it? Um, Maybe. I don't normally play fighting games on the internet, but I might. I might just do it. I know there's faster ways to do this, guys. I apologize. I could have just dumped the whole thing in the box and then grabbed some important stuff, but... This is me now. This is me now. Also, I got level 5 pistol, by the way. Which I am totally going to use. And 11 bullets. I don't have any money. I could have just bought water right there. The hell's on fire? You mean to tell me a gas station don't have any freaking water in it? It's a... Oh! So I got a bunch of them tokens. Is that what the machine takes? Should I just go back home and die at my house? That is what they take. They take Duke coins. Trying to find water is impossible, I swear. Bunch of stupid magazines. I don't need those. I need water. Break the machine? Oh, yeah? Seriously? Is that an option? I am completely out of stamina, guys. It won't recharge now. I'm going to make it somewhat back to my house so I'll, I'll die closer to my house. No what? Can you eat snow? <laughs> I'm going to get closer to my house so I can die close to my house. <laughs> Yummy! You think sucking eggs would give you some hydration? How far away from the trader are you? 1.4 thousand kilometers. I'll be alright. I'll just come back here and get my body when I'm dead. When I'm dead. I'll come get my body when I'm dead. When I'm dead. Taking me a long time to die from dehydration. It's like watching the March of the Elephants. <laughs> Stupid internet killed me. None of the stuff will... 
Can you tell my sister to stop watching my story? Nope. Can't do that. People should be allowed to live however they want to. I'm on me, we. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why I was crawling. Might as well just gun it now. Water. Water. I'm going in blasting, baby. It's gross. I don't care, man. It's whatever they want to watch. None of my business. None of my business for real, for real. I was hoping maybe I could find... Some water before I die, but I gotta die in my house where it's nice and peaceful. I think this is one of my houses. Yeah, it's one of my houses. They're pretty weird. Whatever, man. It's none of my business. Nice machete. Oh, here they come. Oh, that's a biker guy. Those dudes are tough. Kill me! I know you, uh, you get like bad XP, whatever, if you die, but. Good God, he's eating me! Ow. Ow. I think that's a good spot right there to, uh, call the daytime show. What a wonderful, fun awesome broadcast that we had today thank you all so much for hanging out glad you guys chose this show for your live entertainment today have a great day you have a great day too you have a good day too thank you all for all the likes thank you all for everything you do to make this show the most fun show on the internet we'll be back again tonight around nine between 8 30 and 9 with brand new horror game. It's a puppet horror game. I think it's called My Pop, My Puppet. Something like that. Puppet Playtime or something like that. Yeah, be back again tonight. Puppet Playtime or something to that order or style. Something another. Thank you for all the likes. We, uh, we only had one super chat for the whole day. <laughs> here, here. Mm. $5 work day. True, buddy. But thank you to all the gifted subs. I had a bunch of gifted subs today. Mama Justice, David Marol, thank you for gifting all the subs to all the folks in the audience. Thank you all so much. Thank you for a couple of new subscribers, too. It's a pleasure. It's an honor. And I'll see you all tonight. Goodbye, everybody.